Hello everybody, um, it's been a while since I've been doing this, but I'm doing the Roblox Studio Final Cut tutorial. I got some recommendations to make the index, and we're going to do that in this episode. Okay, let's just jump right in, because I don't feel like there's anything else we need to do. And, uh, yeah. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is we want to, I don't know if you can see this, because sometimes you can't see this, but next to Starter GUI, there's a little plus sign. You would like to click that, and then it will show you like a list of stuff. You want to click the one that says Screen GUI. You want to either click it, go to Properties, and find the main thing, or click on it and click F2. Now, what you want to do is you want to change the name to Main GUI. Okay? So this is going to be our Main GUI. And we're going to make a frame. And we're going to call this frame Main Frame. But before we do that, um, sorry if I'm going too fast, this frame will have to take up the whole screen. So set it to this size right here, or just do it manually. But this is the size it should be at. Alright everybody, so now we're going to scroll up to the top of Properties, and you want to click this, Background Transparency. You can either slide it or change it manually with your keyboard. Set it to 1. Then do the same thing we did with the GUI. Rename it to Main Frame. Alright, now we're starting. So first, we want to click the plus on main frame, and we want to insert this. <clears throat> Alright, you know what? Click a text button. It doesn't have to be a text button. I mean, you can make it an image button. It doesn't really change anything. And it doesn't really have to be fancy or anything, but I'm just going to make my book a little better. Okay, everybody, now what we would like to do is we would like to rename this button to index button. There we go. I'll show it on the screen. And um, this isn't mandatory. You can rename it to anything you like. Like, let's say you're making kind of flowers like me. You can make something like flower decks for the text and properties. But if it's like, if, if it looks like this, because you have rich text on like me, you'd like to turn that off. It's not necessary. And you can name it like index or flower decks, which is what I'm going for because I'm making a find of flowers. So now we have flower decks. And what we would like to do is we would put a frame inside of, actually, let's put a frame inside of main frame, not inside of index button, no mistake. Um, okay. Now, we can edit this frame however we like, but this isn't like the main part we're doing. So I'm just going to edit the background a bit. And if you want to make the corners look fancy, you can also add something called a UI to the corner, which makes the corners look fancy. Uh, you could put that for the frame in the index button. It doesn't affect anything but the look. Okay. We want to rename this frame. This is the only thing we really need to do for it. We don't really need to do anything else. We want to rename it to index frame. So let's go ahead and rename that. Okay, perfect. So now we're, we've got our GUIs, now let's really start getting into the scripting part. Let's add something into the index frame called a text label. 
it's like a text button, but you actually, it's not really a button, it's just a text. Put a UI formula in that. Okay, so we're going to rename this text label to title, and the same thing you name this, like for me, flower decks, we're going to rename it. We're going to name this to flower deck. So we're going to name this flower deck. And this isn't really mandatory, but it actually makes the game like look a little better. But it's not mandatory. But you you get what I mean by this by doing this and stuff. So now that we've done that, I'm gonna click. Yeah, I'm gonna get the index frame, and we're gonna add something called a scrolling frame. It's like a frame that we can use our mouse and our finger if you're using mobile to scroll and yeah so now what we're going to do with this is we're going to put it right here lined up with flower decks there right there and then uh get this over okay. okay. I'm not actually going to put a UI corner under this one, but yeah, this is what it's going to look like. You can edit this however you like. Scrolling frame is going to be called index scrolling. Actually, you know what? We're going to be calling this. You can call this, so let's say you're making fun of the flowers like me. Flower scrolling frame. So, but let's say you're making a different frame, like let's say fun of robots, and you would rename it, change flower to robot, and so and so. Okay. And we're going to click the plus on flower scrolling frame, and we're going to click. UI grid layout. Okay. UI grid layout. And this, we're not gonna keep this. We're just gonna, you know, test this out. So look, if you have the text button to test this out, um, control D to um, uh, control D to duplicate. Select something and just keep duplicating it. It does that. And that's what I love about this because it evenly does this for you. But you really don't need the UI grid layout. But if you like, you can have it. It's perfectly fine. It just e it just even things out so I don't have to do it myself. I don't want to be lazy, but it actually makes it look very lined up. And sometimes I can't line up. I can't myself as well. So, we're going to call this, what do we call it? Okay, so, you know what? This isn't going to be a text. This was just a placeholder, but this, in reality, is not going to be a text button. So we're going to delete that. And to get started with, hold on, we're going to add instead an image button. And you can edit this image button however you like. Um, it's truly up to you. The background color, the background transparency, you just set that to your point. You don't have to copy anything I'm doing. This is up to you. It can go to your limits of creativity. Okay. And this is it. So now what you want to do is you want to go to the index frame, click it, select it, 
click next to visible, click the check mark, the blue check mark, and close it. Make sure it's not marked. Click select and click on the flower. If you if this if you have a 3D one like this, um, I suggest you like draw something to make something like this. I can't recommend any drawing apps because I'm just using the images from here, but yeah. So we're gonna click this blue flower. We're not gonna mess with the script, okay? Don't touch that. We're gonna click on the decal only if you're doing this. If not, um, make your own decal, upload it to Roblox. There'll be a separate video on this later um, if you don't know how. And right next to texture where it says decal, you want to click on it and control C. You want to copy that. Okay, so now, like what we did with the index frame where we hit it from our site, we want to make it blue again. But before we do that, we want to insert a script, actually a local script, into our index button. And this will be called open and close index. I mean, we might change that later because I don't know that. Uh, so, we're going to put script dot parent dot mouse button dot click connect function which basically what it does is when you click it with your right mouse or if you press on it like if you're using mobile it will send out a function function to now what we will do is script dot parent dot parent dot index frame dot visible which is its visibility equals and then copy and paste this whole line don't paste it in say not not and then paste it and that's all it's just three lines of code so what this does is if it is visible that if it's if you click this and it's visible it's going to be set to not visible but if you click this and it's not visible then it's going to be visible all right all right so let's test it out press play start a gui open it up actually never mind uh, i'm losing it Click flower decks or whatever you call it, and it should open and close at, upon clicking. If you have any problems with these scripts, please tell me in the comments. I'll try my hardest to help you out. And most of these scripts are actually in the description, but this one isn't going to be in the description. The other ones will be though because they're a bit long. So yeah. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're just going to open the index frame up again using the visibility. Let's just click close. And now, um, hold on a sec, I'm going to copy the decal here again. And we're going to click in, um, not index frame, go into index frame and the image button. Whatever this is called, or whatever you're going to make it, so let, this is my pink flower. This image right here is my pink flower. So I'm going to insert the image for my pink flower. This is my pink flower. And I'm going to name it Pink Flower Button. Okay? And you know what? If you change the background color, you don't really need to do that because we're actually going to change that later to show if you've collected it, then it's going to show up green, and if you haven't, it's going to show up red. So, yeah. And 
later on in the series, we're going to implement something where you can show like hardest to easiest or easiest to hardest. Okay, so now, one second, I'll drink water. I need to drink water. Now, we're going to click on pink flower button. Actually, you know what? You don't need to implement this picture. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. Click plus. Click text label. Now, this is what we're going to do. underneath we're gonna make it one second you're not gonna make it say anything okay because you know what um we're actually gonna change this name this name uh we're not gonna name the pink flower button that was temporary we're gonna name it pink flower with a space um, you don't need to name it that, whatever yours is called. Mine is called Pink Flower. So, that's why I'm going with Pink Flower. But you can name it whatever you want. So, like, let's say find the robots, like a gray robot, or name a gray robot, and whatever you're going for. Sorry if this video is a bit long. It takes a while for me to explain things and all that. So, we're not going to edit the text. You can edit how it looks and everything. So, now we're gonna, just gonna edit this. You can edit the text color though. That's something you can do. It's definitely allowed. Now we're gonna do this. Okay, this is what I'm going for. And now, we're gonna put a script in it. So, script.parent.text, which is the text label text, because the script's parent, which is what it's in, the script's parent is the text label, and the text label's text. This is what it, re it represents. Script.parent.text equals script.parent.parent.name. So, Pink flower. Since it's called pink flower, when we join the game, this the script parent, the script parent is text label, and the text label's parent is the pink flower, and the pink flat the the image button of the pink flower's name is pink flower. So this text right here is going to be called pink flower because that's what it that's what the tech the name of the image button is so let's press play it'll say pink flower and if i stop it'll say label because i didn't actually name it i didn't touch that i just it just says pink flower this is um supposed to make it way easier for people to manage um so yeah we will finish this up in the next episode and we will also finish up some extra things this was just about making the gui and some short code and i will see you guys in the next one um god bless everybody who watched this and family too and i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye